make you famous. I just wanna make you famous, famous. You're star girl and you shine. Keep VIP in mind. That means you never stand I in line. I just wanna make you famous, famous. Everywhere you go, they know your name. With the bright lights and the finer things. I no girl, I just wanna famous. make you famous, famous. You're star girl and you shine. Keep VIP in mind. That means you never stand in line. I just wanna make you famous. Everywhere you go, they know your name. With the bright lights and the finer things. No girl, you with finesse, thug appeal with a little charm. Give me one try, please don't deny. Just say the word and then the stars born. Me and you know true or two. One for me, two for you. Show loyalty and stay honest, boo. And that's the type of thing a real man do. I'm talking red coffee, red bottoms, racked up in your bank account. Though you're independent and you got your own, still show your love in mass amounts. Queen tight, elegant. Every time we out, she represents. So lady like and I adore that. You can't help but to reward that. With the bright lights and the finer things. You don't want that, then the diamond rings Jump the broom, go and wipe that She bring me joy and I like that Told the streets that I'll be right back And seen the diamond off in that dirt Hug the chicks and kiss Will you please turn that down? Oh, I'm sorry Yeah, you sorry But you done woke me up Man, my head is killing me <laughs> What are you laughing at? You! I told you, you cannot hang with me I can drink you under the table I don't know what I was thinking about betting against an alcoholic. But you love this alcoholic too. Yes, I do. And since you woke me up, why don't you come on and uh, love me back to sleep? Stop, Frank, stop. You know I can't be late for church. Whatever, whatever. Hey, baby. Why don't you make some of that uh, shrimp pasta tonight? With all these requests lately, you would think we were married. Well, you never know. Depending on how good that pasta is tonight, just might make you wife. <laughs> Whatever. You play too much. I'm about to get out of here. Have a good day, mister. All right. Going to get your uh, Jesus fix. You know, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And if you know what was good for you, you come get your Jesus fix too. You get enough fix for the both of us. As much time as you spend in that church, Whatever. Lord, please move on Frank's heart to come to church for me soon.
Stacy Collins, and I'll be reading our announcements on today. But before I do, Pastor Kenton asked me to do something a little different. He asked if I would read our opening scripture, which comes from 2 Corinthians 6 and 14. And it reads, Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common? Or what fellowship can light have with darkness? Excuse me. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. Lucian, now why are you going in the midst of scripture reading? What are you doing? Did you hear what she said? What fellowship does light have with darkness? Well, of course I heard what she said. What does it have to do with you disrupting this here service? Well, my Bible done told me I can't have no fellowship with the darkness. There's some darkness up in here. Now, no. get on over here. Sit on down. Cut that out now. Don't be ashamed of yourself. Oh, all right, but I ain't the one that should be ashamed. She 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 should be ashamed. She
talking to you. Get off the hell. Put it down and hold on. Uh, little girl, little girl, I know you're not going to walk right by here like you don't see us and speak. <clears throat> hey, mama, hey, daddy. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here, y'all. Buy some. Buy safety. How you doing, baby? I'm all right. I'm just kind of in a rush. I'm going to meet Christine and Amanda for lunch. So. You know what? I don't care who you in a rush to see or where you got to go. You just don't get it, do you? Get what, mom? If you stop staying out all night on Saturday night, then you can get your butt up to church on time on Sunday morning. All right, love you guys. I'll talk uh, to you later. I love you too, baby girl. Listen, call me later, okay? I'm gonna call you, okay, all right. Babe, you gonna have to lighten up. Now, she's a grown woman, and you gonna have to let her get her own convictions. You know what? I don't even think she allows herself to be convicted. Well, that's because you and I have to be the light in front of her. Well, whatever. Come on, let's go. All right, come Remind on. me to call Sonya and tell her to take that chicken out free. All right. It's all up in her space. Oh, girl, trust me, I didn't mind at all. LOL. <laughs> girl, you in that LOL? You ain't finna worry me. Mm mm. Girl, no. Put up. Don't look now, but uh, to your left, is that Eddie or am I tripping? Oh, well. I said don't look now. Uh, how am I supposed to see him if I don't look? Girl, act like you're getting so much a purse or something to bed. Oh, girl. Yeah, that's Eddie. Girl, dudes be killing me, I swear. He was just all over me yesterday and now he up in here with a whole woman. Well, you know how Eddie is. He don't know how to access. He done got that money. What money? Girl, Eddie and his family been going back and forth for years at this trial. And they finally settled and he got a huge settlement, girl. For real, Ching? Mm-hmm. Girl. Yes. Hi, ladies. Can I get you on something to drink? I have an apple martini. Okay. Patron, please. Okay. And I have a lemon drop. Oh, All hey right. Girl. Are you sure you want to be drinking? Cause you know you was wasted last night, honey. <laughs> Weren't we all? <laughs> no, I thought you were coming to dance with me. Girl, you know I like watching you better. <laughs> well, if I had known that, I would have gave you more of a shot. Girl, and I like watching you too. Just fine self. Um, Eddie, if you don't get your arms from around me, you're gonna be watching my fist come towards your face. Hey, girl, why you gotta be so mean? I'm not mean, I'm just money oriented, and you don't have any. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's up, y'all? Hey, hey, what's up? Well, did your girl do her thing or what? Yes, yes you did, and that's why you the most thought after you've been playing in this suit. <clears throat> yeah, Christine, girl, this party is a lit, okay? Stacy, you want to me to get some ideas for y'all oh, party? You already know we can okay, get some ideas. Good. I mean, we want our party just like this, right yeah. now. Oh, for sure, okay. for sure. Well, yeah. this is definitely going to be one of my top venue suggestions for parties. The owners and I have actually become quite good friends. That's who I was talking to over there at the bar. They are so cool to work with. I I bet they are cool. I'll be cool with somebody like you too, bringing this much money in my establishment. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come here, partner. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. Hey, but Christina, no, real talk. The party that you planning for us, man, I want to top any other party that yeah. you've ever done. For real. Well, you are talking to uh, the most sought after event planner in the city, okay. as my girl said. And we do have a meeting at the venue next week so we can get out all the details and discuss everything then, okay? Your attention, I'm out of your attention, please, please, please. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be with us, my wife and I. We like to thank you. But without further ado, we like to give it up to our event planner, Miss Christine. Give it up for her. Thank you. And if you have any parties or events you would like to come to, please do not hesitate to come to Lowe's Cafe. 
ladies and gentlemen, drink up, shall we? Focus our attention on the now. Christine, this is an open bar party, right? Yes, it is. All right, so well, with that being the case, let's drink up, shall we? Yes. Bartender! Yes. All right, so um, did y'all decide on whether it's gonna be an open bar or a cash bar? Oh, well, my event planner was supposed to let me know the comparisons, Ooh. but my event planner <clears throat> isn't on her job. <laughs> well, if you would have checked your email that I sent, Two weeks ago, you would have seen that I sent you the comparison between the open bar and the cash bar. That shit right, Stacy? Two two. At gmail.com. Okay, what? Why didn't you just tell her instead of sending her an email? Because that is not how this thing operates, honey. I don't care who you are, family, friend, whoever. I'm running a business off. So check your email and we'll finalize everything at the club next week, okay? Okay, I'm gonna check my email and then I'll let you know if it's gonna be a cash or open bar. Yes, yes, please do, honey, because I need to know whether I'm gonna be getting drunk or just tipsy. What, you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Gregory? Um, because if I have to pay for it out of my own pocket, I'm just gonna get a little tipsy. Maybe a couple drinks here or maybe a little <laughs> shot, but baby, if they are paying, oh, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> I'm trying to take her home, but I'm just like, no. What's up, ladies? Hey, Eddie. What's up, Eddie? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, hey, Eddie. Where you come from? I was just over there sitting in the corner. Doing the thing. I'm sorry. I'm rude. I'm rude. Hey, listen, ladies. This is my lady friend, Tori. Tori, this is Christine. This is Amanda. And this is Frank, girl, Stacy. Nice, nice to meet you, Tori. Tori. Nice to meet you, ladies, as well. All right, well, good seeing y'all. I'll catch up with y'all later, all right? Y'all yeah. enjoy y'all eat. All right, Eddie. Eddie right. and Tori. <laughs> Celebrating next. How was your day? My mind can't remember anything before this moment. Mission accomplished. Mm -hmm. Hey. Uh, uh, uh. And what do we have here? <laughs> That's dessert. Well, uh, can I have dessert before dinner? You can have whatever you like. Y'all come on in, come on in, have a sit on down. Come on in, sit on down, let's get these fresh people started, shall we? Ah, uh, yes we shall, yes we shall. Oh man, absolutely I, man, I'm we so ready. excited, like people still gonna be talking about this party 10 years from now. Well now right. that is exactly what we want. Right, Let me go back here and I'll grab your paperwork. I'll be right back. Take your time. I like this. Yeah. Like it's a good energy. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. yeah. let's drink. Oh, drink, drink, drink. Yeah. Thank you. Good on Beyonce. Good on. Yeah. I just want okay. the lights to be on so y'all can oh, see the whole oh, extravaganza of the club. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, let's drink up, shall we? Cheers. Uh, yes, Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, good. Okay, Darnell, so let's look over the menus okay. that you recommended, okay? Yes, my wife is going to get that now. She's in the back, but I put okay. together like three different type of menus okay. that you can choose from. That you okay. did, and I've got them right here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, I do turn up. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So, Christine, you yeah. said it in your email that you was looking to do just maybe hors d'oeuvres, mm -hmm. or we can do a buffet style, or we can do what you see. Lowe's Cafe favorite is the past hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. I like the past hors d'oeuvres. I think mm -hmm. it gives it a classier feeling. Yeah, hey, baby, you right. would like the most expensive option. Well, if I would add my two cents, I am a past hors d'oeuvres type of chick myself. Oh, okay. Man, I just bet you are. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and uh, do the past hors d'oeuvres. Mm. All right, well now that we've got the menu taken care of, let's talk about the drinks. Okay. Are we having an open bar or a cash bar? Sure. Yeah. Uh, definitely cash. Cash? Uh, absolutely. Look, man, I'm not about to be paying for these folks to just drink all night. Mm -hmm. You know what? You did say that you wanted this party to top any party that I've done, you okay? Did. But okay. I also said within my budget. Mm. <clears throat> Baby, I think it's really tacky of us to invite people to our party and make them pay for anything. No. Yeah, baby, you're right. Mm -hmm. You are, really. Yeah. But uh, tacky or not, they buying their own drinks. Well, can we at least pay for half the tab or something? Well, now there is a way that we can handle the drinks, okay? You can pay for half, as Stacy has stated, or you can have it open as far as beer and anything else your guests want. They'll just have to pay for it themselves. Look, option two. Look, we gonna buy all the beer that they want, but anything else is coming out of their pockets. Oh, hold up, I'm sorry. Is that all right with you, Miss? I guess. All right. You know what? Regardless of what, don't worry about anything. Everything is still going to be five star. Okay? That's right, that's right. Because that girl right there, Christine, is the bomb. Uh, yes, yeah. she is. Aw, <laughs> thanks, you two. You're welcome. All right, so I'm going to go back here and I'll enter all of this into mm -hmm. the computer and I'll bring you the contract. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, so once my wife come back with the contract and you agree with everything, uh, is you can get everything done. But first, before we get done, upon request, we're asking you to pay a first deposit down today, and then your second deposit is due two weeks prior to your event here. Sweetheart, now you sure this is the place you want to go with, right? I'm certain. All right, man. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pay the balance in full. Mm. Okay, cool. And may I say, you two, and as well as your guests, will be well pleased that you chose this birthday venue here at Lowe's Cafe. Okay. Thank you, man. We're looking forward to it. Yes, we are. Yes. Now let the planning begin. Oh, girl. Yes. like a picture. What's wrong with that? I mean, you acting like I just walked up to the girl and pushed a like button on her or something. Man, like, I'm not finna sit here and go back and forth with you with all this stupid nonsense, man. That makes no sense at all. Uh, no, I would not be mad if I seen you liking somebody's picture. You know why? Because I wouldn't be looking for no pictures that you was liking. Look, you know what? I'm not finna sit here and go back and forth with you with all this nonsense, man. You can shake my line with that. Hey man, I swear this girl get on my nerves. <laughs> Bruh, you on social media liking thought pictures? <laughs> <laughs> man, I promise you, just like women, just natural born detectives, man. Man, I agree with you on that one. For real. <clears throat> hey, hey, 
Hey, what's up with your girl, though, Amanda? Who? Amanda, man. Stacy partner. <sighs> man, <laughs> didn't you just get off the phone arguing with somebody about you being up to no good? Man, come on now. We both know that wasn't gonna last, man. I mean, don't get me wrong, old bitch. She got potential and all, but I ain't looking for just potential. I'm looking for the real deal. Ah, oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah. And you think Amanda's the real deal? Heck yeah. <laughs> Bro, I swear. You ain't, you ain't got them all. But <laughs> even on top of that, I mean, didn't she just tell you the other night to your face that she's money oriented? That's what I'm talking about, Frank. A woman that know exactly what it is that she likes. Without us having to assume all the time, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, check this though, bro. Hey, what was you talking about earlier on the phone, though, man, about dude that owned the club? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know I know you've been wanting to open up your own spot yeah. for a little minute now, right? Uh, you know Christine, don't you? Christine. Christine. Man, Stacy's girl. You know she's supposed to be planning our birthday party down at Lowe's, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, we went down there the other day, and we met the owners. And, uh, dude seemed like he real cool. You know, I was thinking... Mm. Since you got your money and all, man, maybe you and a uh, dude should hook up. You know, let him know what you're trying to do. See if he can get you going in the right direction, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, most definitely, man. Set that up ASAP. Got gotcha, you. Ain't nothing that meat ready though. Ah, nah, nah. Bruh, 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 bruh. Chefs take their time. Good. Well, chef, how much longer is it gonna be? Cause the brother is hungry, man. Hold your horses, man. I gotta smoke my meat just right. But in the meantime... <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama, for buying me my purse and my shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Well, that's your early birthday gift, so don't be looking for anything when your birthday finally gets here. Girl, please. Now you know y'all spoil that girl. Trust you and me both. You will be getting her something else on that day. Girl, whatever. <clears throat> y'all want some water? Thirsty? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Please. Thank you. Yes, I will take one too, baby. And what do you have in there sweet to eat? Oh, nothing, TT. I'm sorry. I ain't had a chance to go to the grocery store. Thank you. Now, you said, you said you wanted to talk to me about something? Uh, yes, sweetheart, I do. Barbara, do you mind? I really want to speak with her alone. Yes, I do mind. It is no secret what you want to talk to her about with all this stuff up in here. Mama, what is it? What? Well, sweetheart, your father and I, we're really worried about you. Worried? Why are you worried about me? I mean, well, you know how you were raised and this partying and shacking up and fornicating lifestyle, it's just not okay. Mama, what you mean it's not okay? I'm not 16. Well, let me ask you a question. You mean to tell me that you don't see anything wrong with the way you stand out in front of that church every Sunday, yet you living in habitual sin? <laughs> When you're involved in church, you're supposed to be perfect. If that's the case, nobody should be involved. Look, baby, did nobody say anything about you being perfect? Barbara, stop it. But she's right, Stacy. I didn't say anything about being perfect, but you should at least be striving to live your life by the will of God. I am striving. I go to church every Sunday, and I go to Bible study, too. That's not striving enough. Girl, don't you dare try to act like going to church is striving. What? You think you get a check mark just for coming? Your attendance is not what determines heaven or hell. Mama, will you please stop it? Stop what, Stacey? Stop what? Stop trying to put you in remembrance of the will of God for your life? No, stop trying to make me live a life that I'm not ready to live. Well, I tell you what, if you're not ready to live a life, then I suggest you enjoy service from the pews and stop standing before the people because that's being a hypocrite. A hypocrite, Mom? Really? Yes, a hypocrite. Baby, come on here. Sis, let me try to talk to her. Yeah, somebody needs to. Oh mm -mm. Please, please, listen to your mother. She's not telling you anything wrong. However, if you continue to give the milk away for free, Stacy, that man is never going to marry you. Whatever. Look, don't whatever me. I'm trying to tell you what's going to help. If you continue to do what you're doing, he's not. Listen, I catered to a man for years. Do you hear me? But all I ever wanted that man to do was to go to church with me. I practically begged him, Stacy. And guess what? He went. And that man went consistently. <laughs> that was the cherry on top for me. But you know, I went to work. And when I came home, I came home, baby, to an empty house. <laughs> I remember that. 
Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it was fun. It was a note saying he no longer wanted to live this life. And he said he didn't want to force anything on me because he knew I wasn't ready to change. Stacy, I never heard from that man again. It was maybe, what's this, seven years later? Mm-hmm. Her and I decided to go to a church conference and guess who it was standing on that podium? Who? Oh. It was him sharing the same story I'm sharing with you today. Hmm. Girl, you remember that? Girl, oh, yeah, I do remember that. Girl, we ran up out of there so fast yeah. so he wouldn't see us. Mm. That was the one time I was happy for my big old Sunday hat. But niece, he introduced his wife. Mm -hmm. He talked about how sold out for Christ she was and talked about when they first met. But he said what was most attractive to him was that she loved the Lord more than she could ever love him. Mm -hmm. That is when I got my wake-up call. I realized I was too busy going to church and not allowing the church to live within me. <laughs> it wasn't until I got sold out for God before my God allowed my man of God, baby, woo, to find me. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Girl, I was happy to see that man coming. What are you trying to say? Girl. With all this, what we're saying up here is common sense, Stacey. You know what? Don't think I don't think you all up in here praying for Frank. But let me tell you something. I prayed for that man just like that back in the day. But you better watch what you're praying for, niece, because you just might get it. T.T. Bar. Yes. I am so sorry that you had to experience such pain in your life. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you one thing about my man Frank. Mm -hmm. I got him wrapped around my finger and no matter what I do, he gonna always be mine. You know what? I just don't get this girl. Stacy, I feel sorry. Stacy, Stacy, we didn't come here to argue with you. We just trying to help you. You know what? Mama, you right. I need y'all help. Yes. I really do. I need y'all help. Um, it would help me so much if you guys mm -hmm. let yourselves out. Ooh, no, she didn't. Stacy, come. Mama, T.T., oh please, please, please girl, right. let girl. yourselves out. Mm -hmm. I love you, Mama. Fine. We'll leave. But remember, we are not your enemies. I'll take my shoes back. To no, you. Mama, I'm not your enemies. What do you say I'm doing? Frank. Oh, my goodness, boy. Mm. Hey, baby. Uh, what was up with all that animosity? They think I'm being a hypocrite. Why would they think something like that? Because they're holier than thou. Man, I never understand that church stuff. Way too many rules. It's really not. Some people just make it seem that way. God loves us all just the way we are. I guess. Anyway. How was your day? Man, it couldn't have been better. Really? What happened? You know, today marked my five year anniversary with Miller Enterprise Group, right? Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you know that big contract I told you that Jimmy was bidding on? Yes. Man, we got awarded the job. Oh my God. Everybody got a $500 bonus and I got my yearly raise. Man, that's great. God really has been good to you. Why don't you come to church with me this Sunday to celebrate? Uh, who you talking about? <laughs> you! Babe, I really think you should come. And <laughs> why is that? Because your uncle is a pastor, <laughs> and the first lady is your mom's sister, and y'all just this little perfect church-going family? No, babe, you just sat here and told me about all the wonderful things that happened to you today. I want you to come to get an understanding for yourself. I mean, and honestly, it has nothing to do with my family. We're going to be a couple. I at least want you to come to church with me sometime. Look, baby, I don't have a problem with going to church with you. Really, I don't. But if I do go, ain't nobody up in there gonna make me do a thing that I don't want to do. Nobody's even gonna try, sweetheart. Just come. All right, Stacey. I'll go ahead and go to church with you on Sunday. Yay! Ah, babe, don't make this no habit. <laughs> I promise you're gonna enjoy yourself. Man, that's messed up how the media be trying to portray our city after that Ferguson stuff, man. 
I mean, look at how beautiful our city is. Right, man. See, but the thing is, bro, they just don't know, man. Hey, but check this out, man. Your boy life is just about to get started, man. <laughs> man, I told you dude was a man to talk to. I told you. And he been doing this for a while, too. Yeah. And what's his wife's name? Holly? Holly, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she cool, too, man. And I tell you one thing. Any man that can work in the same building as his wife and still like her, oh, that's a strong man. <laughs> like, dude, that man is married. Pretty sure he loves it. Frank, let me learn you something. There's a big difference between like and love. Look, you can love somebody all day long, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you like them. You love Stacy, right? Yeah. Do you like her all the time? Nah. I have my boy. <laughs> <laughs> boy, you a fool. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Hey, but check this out though, man. Hey, tomorrow morning, I want you to come down to the field with man to catch my nephew's football game, man. But do the beach, man. Man, I came tomorrow, bro. Huh. I told Stacy I was gonna go to church with her. Church? Yeah, man, church. Quit lying, man. <laughs> no, man, I'm serious. Man, she always on me about going to church and stuff, man. So I told her I was gonna go ahead and go with her. And you did his search too. <laughs> yeah, man. What you laughing at? Come on, man. Don't act like that ain't fun. Man, you right about that one. Mm. Oh, and real man. talk, though. Mm. You crazy. my blunt back. Really, though? <laughs> yeah. Just as you were taught, oh. 
and abounding and overflowing in it with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. Amen. That sounds like holiness to me. Does it to you? See, we've gotten so far away from holiness in this day and age, but I submit to you, no matter what image this world may betray, I'm going to tell you this morning that holiness is still right. Amen. See, we live in a world where things that used to be morally wrong have become right. Yes. And things that were morally right have become wrong. Right. Why is this? Why? Because we have taken holiness out of our lives. Oh, yes. oh. Oh, what do I mean? We now have same-sex marriages. Oh, wow. Children disrespecting their elders. Sex without responsibility. <laughs> Lord Jesus, be that my child, help my Jesus, Lord. The church is shagging up. <laughs> she going to hell, Lord. Three strikes, three strikes, Jesus. Sex to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to oh, Jesus. You can't say amen. See ya. Ouch. Let's talk about how to get things back in order with what's right. See, right is not what you and I say, but right is what God says. See, God wants us to be holy. How, you may ask? Not by being perfect, but by living a blameless life. Meaning, no one should be able to say that your walk with Christ has caused them to fall away by your actions or your lifestyle. So you see, saints, it should be very important to us that we live holy as a Christian. So we must first make sure that we are born again believers. And, and, and as believers, we must be set apart from the world. Uh, 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 we need to live by God's standards, not the world's. See, it is a fact that we are separated from the world and we must live out that reality day to day in our lives. I'd like for you to turn in your Bibles with me to Peter. First Peter. And when you have it, say amen. Read. Read, first lady. As obedient children, do not be conformed to the former lusts which were yours in your ignorance, but like the Holy One who called you, be yourselves also in all your behavior, because it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. Amen. Amen. Let's live a holy life, saints. I pray that you were blessed by this message. Because you see, holiness is not an outfit. Holiness, I said it's an infant. It's got to be on the inside of you. You got to walk holy. You got to talk holy. You got to live holy. I said holy. It's got to be built in you. You can't put it on on Monday. Take it off on Tuesday. Put it back on on Thursday. Put it back on on Wednesday. It's got to be in you. Pastor Kemper. Pastor, hey, how you doing? Hey, man, Frank. Frank, how you doing, Frank? I'm, I'm doing good, man. Um, man, I really enjoyed the service today, man. I'm glad you did, man. Yeah. You don't remember me, do you? Your face looks familiar, but I can't quite figure out from where to. Man, I'm Mother Lynch's grandson. I used to go to your grandfather's church with her sometimes when we were younger. You was a little bit older than me, man, but I remember you, man. <laughs> 
Frank, what's up, man? Hey, man, how you doing? How you been? Oh, man, I'm good, man. So, uh, good, man. man, you a pastor now? Oh, man, God can use anybody that's willing to be used, man. Man, that's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. Hey, but, uh, for real, though, like, you know, I've been coming to the church, man, over the last couple of weeks, man, and I got to tell you, man, that message that you preached today, man, it just blew my mind, man. I got a ton of questions. You know, I'm actually a little busy right now, but, uh, you know, here, uh, I got a call, you know, just call my secretary, you know, meet with her, I mean, call her, and uh, I'll meet with you anytime, I'll be glad to talk to you. All right, that's what's up, man, I look forward to yeah, sitting yeah. down talking All with right, you, man. good to see you again, All right, Frank. you too, man. All right. All right. I wouldn't say that I know him, know him. My grandmother used to go to his grandfather's church when we were younger. Babe, you okay? You've been acting really strange ever since we left church. Yeah, yeah, I'm just tripping off of that message today. What about it? Stacy's just that. It's just that, uh. It's just that what? Spit it out! Look. I don't understand how you can go to church like that every week, multiple times a week, hear messages like the one that your uncle teach, and still continue to live the life that you live. <coughs> Excuse me? What does that mean? Look, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm just, I'm just trying to make sense out of it all. Make sense out of what? Wait a minute, Frank. So you finally started coming to church and now you want to judge me? Stacy, no, I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just... I'm just... You just what? Wait, wait, you sound just like my parents. Judgment. You know what? You're right. I'm sorry. I mean, who am I to judge anybody anyway, right? I don't know, babe. Just guess after hearing messages like that for these last couple of weeks, just open my eyes to some things, that's all. It's okay. You know what else you can open? What's that? <laughs> the door. Get out. What do you mean, get out? Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious, Frank. I'm really upset. The best thing you can do right now is leave. Stacy, I wasn't trying to offend you. Stacy, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Am I in uh, the right place? Hi. How may I help you? I'm uh, Frank. I'm here to see uh, Pastor Kempton. Wait a minute. You're the guy that's been coming with Stacy on Sundays, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Hi. I'm Nicole. I'm the church administrative assistant. Nicole, nice to meet you. I'm Frank. Likewise. Let me go check and see if Pastor's ready. Okay, for cool. Thank One you. One second. Young man, come on over here and have a seat. Come on over here. Now, I noticed that you've been coming to church the last few Sundays. Yes, ma'am. You've been enjoying yourself? Yes, ma'am. I have. Well, we should be so glad to have you back, son. All right, thank you. I plan on it. Show enough, show enough. Uh, praise the Lord. Franco? Uh, it's Frank. Well, you know what your name is, John. I'm Sister Lucy. I'm one of the sisters here in the office. Nice to meet you. Oh, right before you meet with the pastor, I just got a few questions, if you don't mind. All right, sure. Go right ahead. What church you belong to, son? Um, I've actually been visiting here, but um, I don't belong to no church right now. Oh, well, have you ever belonged to anybody's church? No, ma'am. My grandmother did used to go to Pastor Kempton's grandfather's church for many years when she was alive. Oh, she passed on? Yes, ma'am, she did. Did she know Jesus? Uh, yes, ma'am, she did. Oh, okay. Well, that's all that matters, child. Let's see, I just have a couple more questions, real, real quick. Uh, uh another question for you. See, how long you and Stacy been dating? Um, we've been dating for about four years now. <laughs> four years? Ooh, we'll give so, long enough to get a college degree, show. No, that was all about getting married. Frank Lucy, don't you think you're being a wee bit too personal? Huh? <laughs> all up in this man's business and carrying on. Thank you. Well, Sean, have you even thought about it? Look, we've hinted towards it a couple of times, but we hadn't made the move just yet. Hinted? <laughs> I don't know what that means. 
Stacy, I got one last question for you. You and Stacy shaking up and forming for Kaden. Ma'am, are these questions on that form? Yes, they are. Right here. Right here. Okay, Pastor, so I'll get right on that. All right, thank you. Right, what's going on, man? Hey, what's oh, up, man? How you doing, man? Good. You mind we take this outside? I've been cooping in office all day. No, I don't mind at all. All right. All right. So what brings you in today, Frank? You know I'm not really in all that religious stuff, right? But I got to tell you, after coming to your church for the last couple of weeks, man, and hearing the messages that you've been preaching, it opened my eyes to some things, man, and I'm starting to look at life now, man, from a different perspective. Well, let me let you in on a little secret. I'm not into all that religious stuff either. But see, it's not about religion. It's about relationship with Jesus Christ. But I'm glad that the Holy Spirit used me to speak a word that opened your eyes and let you see it from a different perspective. It's a good perspective, though, right? Yeah, yeah no doubt, no doubt. I mean, the messages, man, they've been giving me hope. You know, my background is in construction, right? Oh, yeah? And, uh... Yeah, and I've been thinking about opening up my own construction company, man. Oh, okay. But hey, um, you said something about the Holy Spirit, and uh, I'm going to be honest with you, man. Like, what exactly is the Holy Spirit? Okay. Let me see. Uh, the Holy Spirit to a believer is like gasoline is to a car. See, a car is still a car without gasoline in it, but gas causes the car to function as it was created, right? Right. So it is with the believer. A believer is still a believer without the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit causes the believer to function as he or she was created. If you know somebody that say they're saved, they're in church all the time, every time the doors open, but they're still the same person they were before they got saved. You saying that once you get the Holy Spirit, you don't, you're not the same person anymore? So do you just like, all of a sudden just change? <laughs> Now, let me help you to understand. After you are saved, God still wants you to be who you are. However, the more and more time you spend with God, your desires begin to change. And you start to do those things that please Him and not your flesh. See, it's very hard to do the will of God without the power of God. And that power comes from the Holy Spirit. So to answer your question, you don't just magically change. You change with the help of the Holy Spirit. Hey, that makes sense, man. That makes a lot of sense. So, you saying also that if someone says that they're saved, right, but they don't do the stuff that's in the Bible, does it mean that they don't have the Holy Spirit? No, it, it could be one or two things. Either they don't have the Holy Spirit, or they have the Holy Spirit, but they're not being obedient to the Spirit. Man, I get it. Mm -hmm. I get it, Pastor. I I appreciate that, man. Appreciate you breaking that down for me. Frank, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Have you gave your life to the Lord? Pastor, I got to be honest with you, man. I've done a lot of bad things, man. I've sold drugs. Hurt people. I mean, what would make you think that God would be interested in somebody like me? Frank, the God I serve, he'll reach way down in any gutter and pull you out. He did it for me. So would you like to give your life to the Lord today? I got a lot to learn, but I'd be willing to give it a try. Thank you, man. Thank you for taking time out of your day to, to talk to somebody like me. That's what I'm here for, Frank. And you know what? I have a friend, Marvin Johnson, man, good friend of mine, man. He owns a construction company. Construction Management Partners. He's mentored a few guys or whatever I know like that, man, and uh, I want you to call him up, man. He'll, he'll take care of you, man. He's gonna help you with your construction endeavors that you trying to do, man. Pastor, I don't know what to say. I mean, I appreciate it, man. That's what's up, man. Man, no problem, man. 
Hey, you know what? <laughs> I know your grandmother, Mother Lynch. Boy, I know she'll be proud you're making this big decision, man. You know what? Hey, my grandfather will be proud as well. But you know what? This is a result of their prayers, man. You know, man, welcome to the body of Christ, Frank. Uh, thank you. Man. Man, I appreciate it, man. Proud of thank you, man. You. Yes. You. Yeah. Have a hey, good one, Frank. Pastor. Yeah. Um, what should I do with this, man? Giving my life over, over for reasons So that I may live in an abundance that you guarantee To all those who choose to believe And I worship you All the choices in this world I really enjoy spending time with you this evening. We haven't done this in such a long time. I know, right? Kind of reminded me of when we first met. Really? How? Yeah. I don't know. It just did. Aw, you're so sweet. How about when we get back to my place, you come up for some dessert? Uh, no. I'm good. <laughs> what do you mean you're good? What's going on with you? What are you talking about? Uh, you're just really acting different and I don't like it. We barely have sex anymore and when we do, I'm the one that initiates. What's up? Stacy, of all the people that would understand what's happening to me right now, I would expect it to be you of all people. That's just it, I don't. <sighs> Stacy! Look, I'm only going in here to check on her. That's it. Nothing more. I don't care how good she looks. How good she smells. Help me, Jesus. Stacy, open the door. Hmm. So you decided to come in? Yeah, I just came up here to check on you. Make sure you're alright. I'm fine. I just don't understand why the man I love acts like he hates me. Stacy. Baby.
Oh, Frank! Don't be scared, I won't fight. Frank? Did he just leave? Wow. Stacy. What do you want, Frank? Stacy, sweetheart, look. I don't want us to keep living like this. I want us to be right. I'm gonna call Pastor Kempton tomorrow and set up a meeting with him. Just so we can get some things in order. Would you be willing to do that? Yeah, sure, whatever. Nah, Stacy. I'm serious. I said okay. Just let me know when. Bye. Woo! Thank God everything is finally finalized for this party, girl. Oh Thank you so much for putting up with me and my procrastination. All right, y'all. So, guess who's been in my DMs? Who? Eddie. Ooh. Eddie. I just sound so excited. You don't even like Eddie. Girl, right. as a matter of fact, you ain't saying Eddie. No, no. That's not true, Christine. Lately, he's been looking very attractive. Oh, mm -hmm. so since you found out he got a little change, now he's attractive. Well, I mean, well, let me does make you just a little bit more attractive. I'm just saying, LOL. <laughs> I'm just with you. Girl. Oh, thank you. I love you. Now, Amanda, you do know that LOL is an acronym that you write when you are not in people's yeah, presence. Because you and this LOL ain't finna worry me today, girl. I mean, of course I know that Christine, LOL. <laughs> But look, Stacy, how's it been going over there with you and Mr. Frank since he's been all up in church? Yeah, I started off a little rocky, baby. I thought I was gonna have to give him the boots. Girl, why? What? For real? What? Now, I don't know why you trying to sit there and act like Christine ain't already told you. I don't know, baby. Why you say that? Bougie, I know you and I know you <laughs> told her. Not but not anyway, not anyway, not listen. He started coming for a couple of weeks and then one Sunday after church, he got to questioning me about my walk with Christ. Trying to make me feel like a hypocrite or something. Are you serious? He don't even spend the night over my house mm -mm. anymore. And when mm -mm. he does, he mm -mm. sleeps on the couch. Nah, Ooh. nah, baby. You need to get that checked out because anytime a man don't want none, oh, you best believe he's getting it from somewhere else. Yeah, hey, mm -mm, no, that's not necessarily true, a man. Uh, when is it not true? Uh, I was thinking the same thing. Uh -oh. So I'll pop up. Okay, you better pop on this out. He was reading the Bible. Girl. And taking oh, notes. No, no, he was taking notes. Girl. Like taking real notes. I've been in church my whole life and I'm not even into it like that. He is really taking this way too far. Too far. <laughs> Girl, you know how it is when you first get saved. Huh? <laughs> what? Say. You say? But anyway, so we went out last night, right? He comes back to my place. Mm -hmm. I invite him into my room with me. Why does fool leave? Girl, you sure he ain't turn gay on you? <laughs> no, he <laughs> not He's just really serious about living this Christian lifestyle, okay. right? All right. So, um, Christine? Yes, yeah. You know. I have a feeling that you're gonna be planning my wedding really soon. What? Holla. Oh, holla, 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 white man. Girl, how do you go from you trying to give him some and him running from you to you getting married now? I'm like, <laughs> okay, listen. So he called me that same night right at like 3 in the morning, which uh -huh. means that he was up all night thinking. Okay. And he asked me to meet with Pastor Kempton with him. Okay, okay, okay. Well, 
Yeah. So, so since he's serious about living this Christian lifestyle, right, there's this verse in the Bible that talks about it's better to marry than to burn, right? Mm. And he's not going to be able to pass up on this for much longer, okay. so he wants to work. Mm. That makes sense. Okay. All right, so Stacey. Are you really saying you finna you finna get married? Absolutely. Ah, OMG, girl, I'm so happy for you. Oh. Who am I, girl? We've been talking about planning our weddings forever, and now one of us is finally getting married. Come oh, on, y'all. We got a toast to this. Oh, Come on. Oh, don't make me cry. I'm not. I'm a try. Okay. All right. <laughs> to my girl, Stacy, for finally finding somebody worth settling down with, and for choosing me to be our maid of honor. No, okay. no, no. I'm not toasting to that. How you just gonna make yourself the maid of honor? Um, because I figure you be way too busy planning a wedding. You ain't got time for maid of honor. Oh, wait a minute. You ain't got time for maid of honor. Wait, 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 Calm down. We haven't even gotten that far yet. Let's okay. just toast to me getting married. Okay. okay. You here to see Pastor? Yeah. Alright, let me check and see if he's ready for you. <clears throat> hey Pastor. Yeah. Stacy and Frank are here to see you. Alright, I'll send him in. Alright, you can go right on in. He's ready for you. Thank you. Right, thank you. Thank you. Hey Uncle Pastor. Hey Lisa, how you doing? <laughs> Alright. What's going on, Pastor? Frank? How you doing, man? Thank good to see you. You too, man. Yeah, have a seat. What brings you two in today? Oh, well, Pastor Frank told me that he arranged for us to meet with you, so I'm just here. Mm, okay. Yeah, you know, I called this meeting today because um, after me and you had met a couple weeks back, I had let Stacy know that I'd given my life to the Lord and asked for the Holy Spirit. Yes, I was a witness to that. He did. It was a joyous time. Yes, it was. So what brings you in today, Frank? Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor... Me and Stacy, we've been together for quite some time now. And um, I really do love her with all of my heart. And I would love for her to one day be my wife. But uh, first things first. You know, after sitting under your teaching and um, getting to understand this Christian walk just a little bit more for myself. Yeah. Studying about the Holy Spirit and all. <clears throat> I don't think that Stacy has the gift of the Holy Spirit living on the inside of her. Okay. So I called this meeting today to see if you can explain to Stacy the Holy Spirit the way that you explained it to me. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that's why you called this meeting? Frank, I know all about the Holy Spirit. Far more than you will ever know. You've been safe for five minutes and now you missed the Holy Roller. Oh my God, I never ever want to talk to you in love. Stacey, what do you think I'm trying to offend you? Sorry. Stacy, look, I'm only trying to help. Stacy, how am I supposed to get home? Everything okay? Oh my God. Hey, Pastor. Man, um, can you run me to the crib, man? It's Don't be over there, man. 
making a scene, all right? No, you're right. I'm calm. I got it. But just stay by your phone just in case I need y'all to bail me out of jail. All right, girl. You know I got you because you know I got the Glock on lock, okay? <laughs> all right, I'm going to call y'all back later. All right, later. Mm -mm -mm. Come in. Your boy tripping. Who? Frank! <laughs> <laughs> Can I please come in? No, how dare you come here after what you just did? And how'd you get here anyway? That secretary, Nicole. Look, Stacy, sweetheart. No, 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 what you mean, Nicole? Exactly what I said, Nicole. Good thing she was nice enough to bring me home. Yeah, I just bet she was. Look, Stacy, will you just please listen to me? Please? Go ahead, Frank. You got five seconds to say what you need to say. Will you please get out of your feelings and just hear me out? That's all I'm asking. Go ahead, talk. Stace, I understand that you're upset. Hmm. I completely understand that you're upset, but all of this is new to me. I actually started going to church just to make you happy. Then I started hearing these messages and it just made me want to see change in my life. What type of change, Frank? The kind that makes you judgmental? No, no, Stace, look, I never wanted to be labeled as one of those Christians that judge people. <laughs> So now you're a Christian. Well, Mr. Christian fellow, you are exactly what you never wanted to be. Judgment. Oh, this is happening too fast. I mean, one minute I'm in this relationship with you, everything is going good. I don't feel bad about none of it. But after going to church and hearing these messages, it just seemed like what we doing, sleeping together, all of this just feels wrong. No, wrong. I'll tell you what's wrong. Wrong is me being with you all this time. Me going to church every week, twice a week, and I was still with you. But when you finally decide to start coming, you instantly want to start criticizing me. That's what's wrong. See, that's just it. I don't just want to go to church. I actually want to go so that I can learn, so that I can grow, so that I can change. I'm trying to be right, Stacy. Look, Stace, I've been giving this a thought. Hmm. And I no longer want to be a hindrance between you and your walk with Christ anymore. So if that means I gotta step away from this relationship, then babe, I'm willing to do that. So what are you saying? I'm saying that something is happening to me. The things that I used to do, I don't want to do no more. And the places that I used to go, I no longer have a desire to go to those places. I feel like I'm in a season of transformation in my life. And right now, I just want to see God with my all. So what are you saying? Stacy, I'm saying we can't keep doing this. I need time to myself. So that I can focus on God and the direction that he's having me to go in. I can't be focused on a relationship with you and a relationship with Christ at the same time. Babe. Just give me some time. Just give me some time, babe, so I can, so I can seek out God and all of this. Please. No, get out. Stace, why are you always so quick to put somebody Stace, out? No, I don't want to hear anything else you got to say. Get out. Stace, baby, it don't have to end like this. Just, just hear what I'm saying, please. Frank, I'm serious. Move, leave. Out. Why are you get always out, so... Get out. I don't want to hear from you. I don't want to see you. Get look, out my house. Stacey, calm down. Get out. I hate you. Get out. delicious in here. I know, right? Honey, <laughs> your mama is in there in the kitchen and she is throwing down today. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait. 
Well, that's good because you know I buy my appetite. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Oh, hey, Stacy. I thought I heard you in here. Thank you. Sonia, come on down so we can eat. Yeah, because I'm starving. Hurry up. So am I. Jesus. Lord, we thank you for bringing us all together. My wife, my beautiful daughters, God. Thank you, thank you for covering them and protecting them. And Lord God, we thank you for this meal that has been prepared. Bless the hands that prepared it, oh God. God, and we pray, oh God, that it will not bring any hurt, harm, or danger to us, oh God. We thank you right now. And Lord God, I pray for our pastor. And I pray for his family. Lord God, I thank you for protecting them, oh God. And God, we pray that the eyes of the lost will be open in this world. Charles, Charles, just bless the food. And let's eat. Just bless the food. And God, we ask all of this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, be, now why did you do that? Beatrice, you know what? That was just plain downright rude. Well, rude or not, I hate it when people do that. If somebody asks you to bless the food, just bless the food. Daddy, don't know. Dad, she's right. Just pray for the food. But I, I mean, you didn't have to do that, Beatrice. That was just, that just wasn't even right. Okay. Mommy, you could have waited until he finished. That was kind of rude. Child, it had to be said. I get tired of people doing that. Just bless the food. But look, anyway, no, no, you no, saying no, no, Let's just enjoy dinner, everybody. Let's please. Because this looks really good. So, um,. So how you doing, baby girl? Work's going really well. You know, I got my own place. I'm decorating. I'm really good. Mm -hmm. Besides all of that, um, what's really going on? Well, what do you mean, Daddy? <laughs> what's really going on? Well, you know, I haven't seen you at church. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing Frank more often than I see you. So, you know, Daddy's just a little concerned. That's all. Church. <laughs> well, if you haven't heard, I got kicked out the church. Stacy. Stacy. Now, why would you sit there and tell or twist that story like that? Now, you know you did not get kicked out of church. Okay. Pastor just asked you to sit down from the role that you were playing. Same thing. It is not the same thing. It's not. <laughs> Truth be told, we need more pastors that's going to sit folk down and ain't living right. Until we understand that God is a holy God and a righteous yeah. God, yep. we'll never get it. Okay. All right, everybody. Yeah. Let's just calm down. I'm just fine. Okay. But honestly, Sis, what's going on? Why do everybody keep asking me that? Okay. I'm fine. Listen, okay, here it is. I talked to Frank already, and he told me what was going on, but I want to hear from you. I honestly don't want to talk about it, Daddy. Really, I don't want to talk about it. Are you sure? Well, it's just that he's mm -hmm. being so See, selfish right now. I I don't even understand how he looks at himself in the mirror. Wait a minute. What happened? And how is he being so selfish? Okay, sis. Everybody know how long me and Frank been seeing each other. Mm -hmm. I've been saved the entire time. <coughs> what? <coughs> I mean... Excuse me. I go to church faithfully. I serve in the ministry and everything. And never have I made him feel less than. But as soon as he decides to start coming to church, he instantly wants to start judging and criticizing me. He said that he no longer wants to be a hindrance to me and my walk with Christ. And thinks it's best that we don't see each other anymore. Like, I don't believe him right now. I'm at a loss for words. Hmm. This all sounds so familiar. Well, I must say, now honey, I know that this is uh, probably going to be a big pill for you to swallow and it's hard for you to understand, but I think he's doing the right thing. Uh, of course, now that he's in agreement with you, he's right. Don't do that, yeah. Stacey. Don't do that. You know what? You know how Pastor always make that statement that Dad can't get rid of? <laughs> I'm thinking about it and now it's so true. 
you know what I'm just gonna say it it's not about who's right but what's right mm -hmm. and what's always right is the word of God Stacy you know this oh wow so what's this gang up on Stacy day no listen I go to church every single Sunday and not only that, I go to Bible study as well, but that's not striving enough for mom, it's not striving enough for pastor, and I guess it's not striving enough for either of you either. Look, girl, you just don't get it, do you? What in the world is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me, mama. I'm just asking questions. Daddy, is that not striving enough for you? Uh, Stacy, no, it is not. Listen, sweetheart. It is not just enough for you just to go to church. Honey, you've got to meditate on the word day and night. You've got to get it down in your spirit. You can't just give God, a, a, be half-hearted with God. Listen, baby, listen. Don't look at this like it's a bad thing, okay? Just kind of, God will use anything in any circumstance to get our attention. Just look at it as a wake-up call. I can't deal with this. Where are you going? I'm leaving. I feel like a little kid all over again. Listen, oh I have a relationship with Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as long as it's enough for him, that's all that matters. Oh, no. Lord, Stacey, girl. you know what? I get sick and tired of people doing that. Why is it that every time you want to shed some light on holiness, people want to say you judging them? Oh, she's going to be all right, baby. Don't worry. And why are you always so calm? I mean, we does our best to raise her in the fear of the Lord. And then she want to grow up and walk around and act like the devil himself. I'm tired of this, Charles. I'm tired of it. I don't have time for this. I'm calm because I'm standing on the word of God. I pray and I leave the results up to him. Because that's all I can do and that's all you can do. I'm sick of this. Your girl is bad, okay? <clears throat> you are. Uh-uh, don't be hating now. I had to tone it down just a tad. I ain't wanna outdo the birthday girl on her birthday. <laughs> you a hot mess, but you are slaying though. Now that I am, LOL. <laughs> but girl, come on. You know Christine gonna be calling soon. What? I mean, I'm I'm ready. I just need to put my shoes on. Um, well that means you ain't ready. Whatever, crazy. Hand me my shoes off the chair. Driver, stop right here. This is the building. Make yourself use. Girl, where? You think so true. Thanks. Oh, cool. Get that. That's probably good thing. Hey, Christine, girl. You on speaker? Hey, ladies. The limo has arrived. Come right, on down. All right. planning this party for like a year now right um first of all girl you know what i mean quit playing a week shoot okay girl uh, you right it sure flies time does yeah it, it really sure does mean. well anyway miss lady you over there smiling with you right. so happy about cheese um, because it's my birthday and it's my party no 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 miss thing you are overly excited about something else now let us see. Is it because you're going to see Mr. Frank tonight or what? Oh, I don't know. Mm, yeah, you don't know, huh? Okay. <laughs> now, are you you really sure that he's gonna show up at this party tonight, girl? Girl, you saw the money he put into this party. He won't mess up for the world. So, when's the last time that you talked to him then? <sighs> oh, it's been three months, six days, a long time, but that's why I'm making sure everything is looking right tonight. Mm -hmm. I know that's right, boo. Yeah. You and you looking right inside. I didn't get it. <laughs> What's Stacy? Honestly, 
I mean, for real. You really think that y'all got a chance to get back together? Right. Oh, absolutely. Me and Frank have been down this road before. Breaking up, getting back together. Now, we've never been broken up for this long, but I am certain. When he see me tonight, mm. baby, it's going to be on and pop, 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 pop him. <laughs> this man didn't play you to the left, and you mm. really still want to be with him. Mm. You really love him, don't she you? Do. She I, do. I do, and I miss him so much. But you know what? I don't care how holy he's trying to act. I bet y'all any amount of money he gonna be walking right back through my doors with me tonight. Okay. 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 I'm gonna toast to that. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you always want to toast to anything. Uh, yes, that is right. I take every opportunity I can to Thank turn you. up and talk right. about it. Right. Right. Well, it's a birthday, right? Girl. Yeah. Happy birthday. Drunk behind and disrespect me. Uh, why you get so angry, Stacy? Mm -hmm. I'm only telling the truth. Now, Christine, tell me now. Is it true that the truth hurts or as the Bible says, the truth shall set you free? Okay, falling in here. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Listen, Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. No, Stacy, I'm going to take her home, okay? Please do before I be sitting up in somebody's jail tonight. I know she did. No, church lady, not form, okay? Drinking, clubbing, and going to jail? What about when your wife shines, Stacey, huh? Ain't that what y'all church folks do? Draw the unsaved to Christ with your light? Well, I don't see no light. You see light? Get her out of my house now before it get ugly in here, Christine. I'm telling you, get her out of here. You know what, Christine? I'm tired. I'm just tired of church folks pretending. Now, either you gonna live holy, Who's she talking to? or you gonna be a hoe!
Yeah. I'm sorry. I've just been sitting up writing and sleeping most of the day. I am so sorry about last night. Amanda had way too much to drink. And she really feels bad for the things that she said. For I feel real. bad too. I really do. I hate how everything went down. No, it, girl, I'm so sorry. I feel bad too. Please forgive me. Look, I saw the some wine and sip on sex. I'm so sorry. Did I tell you to say? Oh, yeah, tell me what you but Stace, look, I just feel so sorry. No, look, lady, it's okay. I'm sorry too. I had a chance to think about everything that's happening right now. Like, what's going on with me and Frank? The things that you said, and honestly, he's right, and so are you. No, look, I wasn't right, and neither is Frank. Stace, you don't deserve to be treated like this. I thought all night about the things that you said, Amanda, and I promise that is not the image that I want to portray. And I thought about the decision that Frank is making. He's doing the right thing. No, Stacy, he is not. No, listen. I don't need nobody to feel sorry for me. I know how I was raised. I know better. Like, all my life, I've been in church, sitting up under the Word of God. And not only was I taught the Word of God, I watched my parents live the life. They didn't just talk the talk. They walked the walk. And somewhere along my path, I made a wrong turn. Here it is. I'm sitting under all of this truth, but yet and still I just allow my flesh to do whatever it wants to do and live however it wants to live and I'm just tired of it. I really don't like to see you like this. You know what? You sure you don't want to? Let's just pop this off. You sure you no, don't want to? No, I'm serious. Listen, I don't want to drink. I don't want to club. I don't want to do any of it anymore. I just want to get back in God's will for my life. Stace. <sighs> Everything's gonna be all right. It is. Mm. It's gonna be all right, Smith. It is. It's gonna be all right. I really appreciate y'all for being here for me through all of it, but I really need to be by myself right now. No. 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 We don't have nowhere to go. I thank y'all, but I really want to be alone. I'm gonna be my friend. And just call us if you need us, okay? Yeah. We'll be here. Alright. I love y'all tonight. See you later. Oop. Push it on. Okay. Yeah. Girl, it wasn't like you was gonna drink it anyway. Right. I don't want it. Come on. Say it, girl. Forgive me for going outside of your will. I don't know what happened. Somewhere I made a wrong turn and I just, I ask that you please accept me back that. Oh God, I surrender myself to you. God, I want, I want to do your will, God. Now, I understand what my father meant when he said that you'll use any situation to get our attention. You have my attention. <laughs> I, I prayed for this. I, I asked that you would move on Frank's heart. But I, I wasn't expecting him to come to church and accept you as his savior and change. But I get it, God. That's, that's what you want us to do. You don't want us to just go to church, God. You want us to be the church. Te teach me how to be the church, God. And listen, this, this is not to get Frank back or to please my parents, but God, this is personal. This is personal, God. I love Frank. I do. But he chose you over me, so that just shows how great of a man he really is. And I'm hurt that things had to end this way between us. But you have my undivided attention. God, so take, take everything. I don't want it. I don't need it. God, I just want you. God, I just want you. Please, God. I promise that every single day of my life, I will live to please you.
is you and only you. I love you, Dad. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to thank everyone for coming out today in honor of celebrating my brother in Christ, three years in the ministry, Minister Frank Jackson. <laughs> Minister Frank is truly a man after God's own heart. He's a true and living testament that when you really want change in your life, it can happen very quickly. He didn't use the, it's a process excuse. He came in, heard a word, and died all the way in completely. Change can happen in your life. It's up to you how long you want the change to be. It could be instantly or 50 years, but again, it's up to you, amen? Amen. Not only is he celebrating three years in the ministry on this day, but he's also celebrating his one year wedding anniversary and is now the owner of his very own construction company. Hey, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes. Mrs. Jackson would like to say just a few words in honor of celebrating her husband. I'm going to turn the microphone over to her now so she can say a few words about her man of God. So without further ado, let's stand on our feet and welcome Mrs. Frank Jackson. Thank you, thank you everyone. Truly, thank you greatly. So I asked Pastor Kenton if I could speak today on behalf of honoring minister Frank Jackson. I tell him often, but today I wanted to publicly thank him for allowing God to come into his life and completely have his way. And I also want to thank our assistant Nicole for planning this amazing event. So, a few years ago, I was habitually living outside of the will of God. I would come to church, I would serve, I would read the announcements, and then go home to a life full of sin. But I would always pray and ask that God move on Frank's heart to come to church with me. But boy, I did not know that when he finally decided to come, that he wouldn't leave the same way that he came. See, he came to church, but he didn't want to just attend. He instantly became a doer of the word of God. And at first, his drastic change, oh, it made me angry. I was bitter, I was hurt, I couldn't understand why he would do this to me. But then, one day I realized that he didn't do anything to me. I prayed for this. But see, sometimes we pray for things and we really aren't ready for the manifestation of that thing. But Minister Frank Jackson, because of your commitment to God, your faith walk, your belief in me, mom, dad, and always the teachings of Pastor Kenton, you guys have made me the woman who I am today. So thank you. Sweetheart, thank you for exemplifying God's love and for loving me. I truly love you. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our guest of honor, my husband, Minister Frank Jackson.
always knew you would come for me And now that you're here, my whole world's complete You gave me so much more, so much more. more than I hoped for All of my dreams are realized Oh, you made me the joy you bring in you I found perfect love uh, and one of a kind most dream of I never thought it could be oh no but in you I found everything I'll ever need Ooh. There were some days when I I felt so alone I thought I Okay, girl, you got it. You got jewelry going on, Link Finger. Okay. Is it done? That's it, Rosan. Right, we're going to go talk to her. Scene 19, take six. Action. Now, either you going to live holy, or you going to be a hoe! Cut. <laughs> Rolling sound. Scene 17, take five. Action. Um. Stop in my area. Nah, -uh. that ain't mine. Not so much the last shoot, but it's a 
is the last scene of the Wake Up Call 2018. This is all the cast, all the extras in the ball right now. 